Bottom right of the map here on King Sejong Station, it is our pink player, DayJ's Omi. And in the top left of King Sejong Station, also a Zerg player. In the teal, it is Barbara Musashi. So, here's the thing, right? Both of these two, I think, set up pretty well to... I think we're going to see a pretty good series in this match. Probably uh, will be not too close, but... Omi's made it to Platinum. Very good. Which is really impressive, actually, these days. I've often heard ZVZ referred to as a, a knife fight. <clears throat> and there's only one knife. <laughs> Interesting. What's the knife then? Um, the knife would be Banelings. Pretty much. Because <laughs> it's usually when you catch pro games, uh, ZVZ, it's always Ling Bane versus Ling Bane, and it's doesn't it's it just... great to see the. Mi I love the micro and that stuff. It starts there, but doesn't it usually like end up in roaches though? Like eventually. Yeah, and then it's they big... try to outburrow each other, and it gets kind of weird. Like, I don't think I really ever see a late game situation where they don't have, like, j two giant balls of roaches plus other stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure, actually. Not since not since they put in the sport crawler range, because before that, everybody went Muta. Mm. Muta was so good when they put that regen in at first. It's pretty crazy stuff. Ooh, Omi opting for a pool first, while Viper going for the hatch. So this actually does open up a little bit of a timing here for Omi to get a lot of work done. And he's already got six links coming out, so he will at least be able to run to the front of the base and get some... be a little bit annoying, if nothing else. Eight. He's going to eight. Oh, he may actually be intending on just doing a lot of damage right now. He can see, too, that he's expanded, so he's kind of got the ha-ha look oh, on his face. Oh, yeah. More, more than likely, he's very excited right now. But... So the thing is, the rush distance on this map is actually kind of irritating. Yep, Ooh, you have to... Are opting for something sneaky, maybe? Run the obstacle course. Uh, he's path up, uh... Is he gonna go for the wall? No, it looks like he's rallying up to the... the center here. Oh, he's trying to dodge the Overlord. Interesting. Oh, good choice. He must, he must have this timed out or something, because I don't think he ever saw that that Overlord was in the middle. Probably not. I think he... Oh, no, he saw it coming across the map with his Overlord, so that might have been enough. In any case, there's already one in his base that's going to see a spawning pool there, and... He's bypassing the natural, oh, running straight for the main. Yeah, he's just going to run straight up there. Oh, he's trying to snipe off the links as they come out. Some more at the bottom, going to gather up down here. And he's got a couple links that are actually poking away at the drones up there. Already been able to pick off one, but they're then sniped away. Some decent worker micro. And he's going to get to work on the natural expansion. Or the queen. Or one of them. He's going to pick something and kill it. He's got the queen. All right. Ooh, ouch. So, versus his opponent, um, Viper still has better production, all things considered. He's got the queen plus the two bases, but it doesn't look like he's going to be able to hold it for that much longer. I uh, don't... Can he even really stop this from going down? I, I don't yeah. think so. No, not really. No, nope. He doesn't have enough nope. time. At the very least, he might be able to kill the links when the broodlings come out, and that'll be kind of bad. So we've been pulled back down to one base. Nice running around by Omi, but he does lose all the links. And now we're going to pretty much see the same situation in reverse. Viper's going to build up a bunch of links, he's going to run to the other side of the map, and he's going to try and cancel Omi's expansion. Neither player really gaining a huge advantage just quite yet, though... Having lost the hatchery, Viper has lost quite a bit more minerals on the units lost. Oh, considerably. But he did have those extra larvae there briefly, and he does have a bunch of lanes that are just kind of hanging out back home rather than running across the map being awesome. Omi does see this, the Overlord coming here. Omi is also going to be behind on tech shortly if he loses this, though. Uh, I would say right now it's actually paramount for Omi uh, to actually hold this base. As Viper Musashi is actually just about to have a bang on this. Oh, and the second the speed hits, too, it's going to change the game. Speedlings fast and more powerful than non speedlings in these engagements. But doesn't have quite enough to really push the issue just yet. So 
also have another Ballings in the back of this, but he's running back. And the fact that he's running back with that amount right now should give Omi uh, cause to be a little bit worried. He's trying to duck out of sight so he can get these Bailings made. This should happen any moment here. Looks like going back down for Viper. Trying to get back on equal footing. These Bailings aren't going to feel very good, though. Omi is in at least a nice production spot. He does have a decent advantage over his opponent in that respect. But yeah, once these banings get down here, speed isn't even done either. I actually think Viper is going to be able to do a lot of damage with this if the controls are right. Mm, as long as he doesn't engage under the spine crawler, but that's a that's a little ways up. Yeah, he's got it up on the high ground there. He's going to use this as a defensive point if his opponent comes up here. But mm -hmm. another one building near the minerals probably will be done by the time Viper decides to attack, though. Maybe? Maybe not. He could do it now. Not sure yet. Ah, Omi's going to go straight up in the roaches instead. Probably a good choice versus Banelings. And he's pretty much just using this as a macro hatch right now. Just building up his larva count, getting more lings out. Not going to be droning up for a while, not until he's relatively sure that his opponent can't be pressuring him more. He's going to see the Banelings on the creep right now. He's going to engage the main army here. And really needs to use the spine crawler actually. Focus those bailings. Ooh, 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 ooh. Loses four immediately. He's going to lose another one right there. Nice trade right there. And he's actually being able to pick these off relatively well. But unfortunately, the hatchery has been isolated and is going to slowly fall to the lanes down here. He's actually managed to dodge the bailings completely and he's now going to run down there and try and get the army. The army has trapped him into the bottom of the bottom of the hill. We'll just go down there and take care of a few lanes, but this is enough for me to hold. At least for the short term. Banelings are painful, especially when all you have is lings. Especially without upgrades. Once you get those upgrades in play, the lings can actually start to withstand more damage, but it takes a little bit of a while to get there. And I think at this point... Wait, actually, is that ever true? Banelings explode at 40 damage, right? Something like that. Is it 40 or 30-something? I need to know. I need to know. He needs to make another banelings. <laughs> He's working on it. He's got right, a few here. There it is. But yeah, they have 35 health. So they actually may never be capable of... Okay, they do 35 damage versus light. So if you do pick up one armor upgrade, then the Lynx will actually take two Bane hits. Unless there's attack upgrades involved. Coming back in here. Try to snipe this hatch. So he's actually going to pick off... No, he's not even really going to get the workers. He's actually just going to lose all of them in this situation. So superior engagement position for Omi now. He now has Roach Tech, which gives the compositional edge over to Omi as they can trade incredibly well against Banelings, and they do very well against Lings as well in large numbers, not so much in small, though. So I think with both players going Roaches, we've uh, transitioned to mid-game. Yeah, this is pretty much mid-game ZVZ. Both players tried to kill each other early, both failed. Though Omi definitely did more damage. So he has a little bit of an edge. Oh yeah, definitely. If you look at the the resources lost or the units lost as well, uh, it's it's quite a landslide. He's up by ten drones as well. So this is a pretty rough spot to be in for our blue zerg. Doesn't mean that he's over necessarily just yet. Oops, he hears the lings working away at this wall here. And he can actually position his roaches up here to poke away at the the lings in the bottom. He doesn't actually have to. Um, <laughs> you do, I just look down in the chat and see that the, I guess, his girlfriend put her in the herself with his girlfriend, and I was like, oh, huh. all right, <laughs> oh, but anyway, yeah, he, he can just poke away the links at the top here, but I guess he doesn't want to reveal that he has roaches just yet, maybe. He's trying to pull his cards back, so to speak. Uh, Viper has caught up in arm production. Gonna be behind on upgrades next, I think. This rock's almost ready to go down. Is Viper's prepared? Yes. That's more than enough roaches to deal with that. Like it's, uh... But for Omi, with this is really good though, because it does open up a separate attack path for him for later in the game. Even if he doesn't get anything done now. That's still nice to have that out of the way. Two Banelings rushing forward oop, trying oop, to get some oop, damage on the links here. Oop, oop, oop. Close. And Omi is controlling very well against them, trading one link for a bane. Now there's no escape route from in there, so he's going to lose a lot of links. Yep, but he does get away with about half. Not too bad. Kind of scrappy, but both of them got away with uh, minimal loss. 
Yep. So one thing I will say about this is I like that the creep spread from neither player is all that aggressive right now. Both players are utilizing ground units. The more creep you spread on the round the map, it means the faster that your opponent can get to you. So you don't want to be too aggressive on that if uh, in this situation. But it's good nevertheless to have it between your bases and a little bit into the map. Just because that way, if there is an engagement, you have a creep location to fall back to where you can get a minor advantage over your opponents in terms of attack speed. So me opting for Hydras and Burrow. So this is a very uh, interesting setup we have from him. Obviously Roche Speed going to be there for both players, but Piper's going to be getting his a little bit quicker. He's not spreading his resources quite as far out there. Well, me, however, is not spending his money all that well at the moment. A little bit of a little bit too much extra gas there. Unless he's building up for a transition later, which is entirely possible. He he could definitely be saving up for more of those hydras. He's he's kind of choked on minerals right now. So and, I mean it's. Hmm. I think he'll end yep. up spending it pretty quick though. Yeah, he's pushing all of those resources into hydras as fast as he can. A hydra and down, down for viper now too. <laughs> so pretty much for anybody who's listening, uh, Roach, basically what we're looking at here is the Roaches are going to be used as tanking units. It's going to run them out to the front, and they're going to try and absorb a ton of damage for the Hydralisks, which do a lot of damage quickly, but unfortunately are not very meaty. So the result of this little poke here is he's just trying to see, do you have a third base? No? Okay. Now let's see what's in your army, because obviously you've done something with all that time. Another thing that's uh, important to realize here is that there's plus one, plus one for Omi. That means his units take one point less of damage and do one point more in most cases. Sometimes with the units will actually get more than one additional point of damage. But the important thing is, with a lot of unit relationships, it'll typically mean that the Roaches will be able to kill their targets in uh, one less hit. So they will be very, very, very much more effective. And if there's ever a difference in upgrades of more than one, really, like 2-2 like two, two versus 0-0, zero, zero. the 0-0 zero, zero army can lose pretty badly, even if they're a little bit ahead in supply. So never want to underestimate that tiny little difference it can make. Definitely. Going going back to the uh, the, the roaches as tanks, um, both players are getting groove spines. So those roaches are going to be even even more effective at making a wall between the, uh, the enemy army and the hydralisks. So Viper is looking to go for the same composition here, so also grabbing Hydras. Well, you'll see a lot of players like to layer in on top of the Hydras, so they'll grab Infestors. Infestors are very good for the area effect damage that they can throw on, not to mention they can lock your opponent's uh, army in place, so you can get a, grab a better Concave against them. Whoever has the better Concave is attacking with more units and thereby doing more damage. The other key thing to note here is that there's now an additional base for Omi. With the way the Zerg economy works out, you actually can add a oh, nice little change thing right there. You actually cannot produce all of your... You can't use all of your money without having an extra hatchery, basically, to macro. Interesting. The army from Omi has now been burrowed at the front. I think he's going to look for an ambush opportunity here. There's no detection here. No detection. Overlords are moving in, but they're not going to see much. But he is off of creep with some of these units, so he can't actually see something in the ground as long as he's looking for it. It's very difficult to pick up on if you're not. Overlord speed from Omi is going to give him a lot of really quick map presence around. I mean, it's going to force Viper to actually move with the Hydras to actually kill the Overlords. Four crawlers spawning. going down for Viper. Hmm. Probably just getting these around the base to deal with a threat of Burrowed Roaches, if nothing else. I don't, unless we see him go more crazy. Well, in any case, he's going to wish he had some Spine Crawlers back at third, because that's going to get cancelled here pretty quick. You better cancel it. Viper cancel. There you go, Viper. Use all those resources. Drones are gonna back. transfer. Get destroyed. I'm gonna push back here, and then he's gonna. Yeah, losing a lot of drones there. It's a pretty rough situation game. And now he's gonna burrow right under the army. In the meantime, uh, what? Uh, well, they unburrowed. Um. Oh, okay. In between all the hydralisks. Uh, not not the smartest thing to do. I thought he was going to use that as an opportunity to run up into the main base with this army down here, but yeah, what well, doesn't really matter. He's already got his own third up. He did the damage he needed to. The station picked. This is going to supply block Viper. Ouch. This is the worst time to have this happen, is right at the beginning of an engagement. Very, very difficult to go back and fix that problem. Can't build any more units, and he's losing them up at the front, and 
and uh, so far actually better engagement position for Viper, actually. But he's being forced to give that up as his army is at an upgrade disadvantage. He's taking a lot of damage right there. And now there's four changelings running into the army. It's going to be hard to target <laughs> with all those roaches. No, he should be pretty odd. He should be able to tell right away that those aren't there just because their, their movement is delayed compared to everything else. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, clicking on them is going to be painful there. There we go. <laughs> Whoops. Pathogen glands. For Momi. Like some infester tech. Moving up in the hive. So far, I'm. I don't know. Drone's transferring. Probably going to the third. Momi's going to move in here. So that work difference from earlier in the game is still present, though it's more just from that second attack. I'm gonna get to pick off some units from free here. Losing those hydras would be actually a pretty big loss for Viper, which seems gonna save him. Good. Now me is trying basically what what you want to have happen here, depending on from either perspective. So you want to be the guy engaging outside the ramp. If you're inside the ramp, then half your units on the ramp. Right. Forty lanes though. Having a good time in the back. The thing is, though, he's let his Hydra survive for so long that they've been able to get a huge amount of damage in, and now there's no tanking left for either player, so he's in a really good position to fix the fight. And that's too much for Viper. So GG.